friends and welcome to chef's recipe spotlight today we have a culinary creation that i am so excited to talk about and you guys are going to laugh at me but it is clams casino about 20 years ago if you told me i was making clams casino or excited about clams casino i'd tell you you were crazy it's never been one of those dishes where i see it on a menu and i'm like oh my god we gotta order it but my husband's family has changed me specifically his aunt donna so Clams Casino, Italian style, American Italian style, I should say, from Rochester, New York, is its own thing in itself. It's one of those dishes that was a family tradition. They used to serve it as part of the seven fishes on a New Year, Christmas, sorry, Christmas Eve dinner platter, along with all these other family functions. So she makes it catering style, like trays and trays and trays of Clams Casino. I know you guys don't want to hear all the stories, but I'm guessing maybe you do because you're here listening to a podcast, right? So when I got her recipe from my husband, the first thing that was, was like 51 count ounce can of clams. And A, I was like, oh my gosh, she's using canned clams. I'd never even thought about it before because I'm just such a generally using fresh, at least with seafood. I really don't care for canned tuna and things like that. So canned clams, I was like, holy majoli. But we do use cl- canned clams and our white clam sauce. Okay. So 51 ounce can, like, holy crap. And then sleeve of crackers. So it was this kind of recipe. It was the kind of recipe where I am left going, okay, I now have to figure out what the amounts are because Aunt Donna's recipe writing is not uh, the same as mine, we'll say. But I also added a couple of things that I thought would bring some flavor, but also make it my own from Aunt Donna so she can keep her own. Okay, so canned clams versus fresh clams. You are more than welcome to use fresh clams if you want to. It is an added step. You need to now steam them. Sometimes they're drier because they aren't in a brine, so that can account for something too. But let me just tell you, when you're making dinner for 50 hungry Italian people, you are going to go broke buying that many clams and you're going to spend two days steaming and shucking and pulling clams out. This is part of the reason why that and they're hungry, like I mentioned, and most of the clams we get at the grocery store are little neck clams. So they've really tiny shells. You can't fit that much clam stuffing into these really tiny little shells. So what they do is they have big shells. They've at some point either bought big shells or you can buy them on Amazon. It's kind of like escargot. You buy it in a can and then you put it in the shell to serve it. They buy chocolate clam shells on Amazon and they're giant so that when you get your clam, they're almost like the size of a scallop. You've got this large portion instead of a little tiny bit. You don't have to rebuy them. You can wash them. You wash them. You let them dry super, super good. She wraps them in paper towels, puts them in a plastic bag, and back to the basement they go until they need to be pulled out again. Okay. So let me tell you how my husband's family makes clams casino. Of course, it is going to kick off with these clam shells. Make sure they're dry and washed and ready to go. Then we're going to cook up about three fourths pound of center cut bacon. I say center cut because I don't want it to be super fatty. We want some of the meat there, but it's going to be divided. Okay. So half of it's going to get cooked and half of it's going to stay raw until we actually cook the clams casino. And this serves two purposes. Three fourths cup white onion minced, one third cup red bell pepper. I love the color in there, a little bit of freshness. One third cup yellow bell pepper and one third cup orange bell pepper. This is like the carnival of bell peppers. Now, if you just want to use one color, you want to throw some green in there, be my guest. Two fresh cloves of garlic. Aunt Donna's does not use garlic. And I was like, oh my gosh, what doesn't use garlic? So I added some in, but not too much so that it overpowers all the other flavors. One teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, of course, be my guest if you want to chop up and use fresh herbs, you've got some stuff lurking in the vegetable crisper. I only used 18 ounces of canned chopped clams, go figure. One cup of Ritz cracker crumbs. I do like the Ritz. You can, of course, use saltine, but Ritz are buttery and salty, so double win. And three tablespoons of a Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Of course, you could do a Parmesan as well. I like the hard cheese in this. Kind of like a glue that helps keep everything together. Gives it a little bit of a nutty flavor, but isn't cheesy, if you will. 
Okay, flat parsley and lemon slices for serving. Okay, get your oven ready at 350. Line a really big baking sheet with aluminum foil and spread out all of those clamshells. Cut up about a half a pound of the bacon into small pieces. Foodie friends, the easiest way to do this was not with a knife. Get out your kitchen shears and just cut it into small pieces. Hack it up as you put it into a skillet. Cook it until it's crispy and remove it with a slotted spoon to a paper towel lined plate. Reserve three tablespoons of that bacon grease. You want that bacon grease. It is going to be the fat that holds all of this together. Reduce the heat down to low and add the chopped bell pepper for two to three minutes right into the bacon. Now you've got bacon flavored bell pepper. Add the onion, cook it for another two minutes. You just want it to be slightly translucent, but not like totally limp. And then add the garlic and Italian seasoning for just one minute. Garlic tends to burn and when it does, it gets bitter. So you don't want to put it in at the same time as the onion, which shakes a little bit longer. Remove all of that from the heat and set it aside. Put the drained clams. Okay. You don't need the juice. Some of these recipes use juice. I use bacon grease instead. I mean, who doesn't like rendered bacon fat, right? Cracker crumbs, the Parmesan Reggiano cheese, and then the bell pepper mixture with all of the leftover rendered bacon fat with it and the cooked bacon. Fold that together gently until just mixed. It's kind of like a stuffing at, at Thanksgiving, right? It's not going to be fully mixed together, but it's going to be just right. Okay. Arrange, oh, you've got your, your clamshells already on the baking sheet. Spoon this mixture evenly into each clamshell, and you can do it kind of loose. Then with those remaining strips of bacon, using the kitchen chairs again, cut them in about half inch strips and place two of those half inch strips over the top of each clam. As they cook, the rendered bacon grease from those strips of bacon is going to leak down into your clam mixture and give it even more flavor. Plus it is just tradition. You put a strip of bacon, not crumbled bacon, not cooked bacon, or a strip of raw bacon over it. And that is how you know the clam is done, right? Bake it uncovered. It's going to take about 15 minutes for it to really start getting going and then increase the heat to broil and cook until that bacon is crispy and brown. And when it is, you know that your clams casino is done. Remove it, let it sit for a few minutes just because you don't want to burn yourself. Those clam shells will be hot and sprinkle them with chopped parsley. Serve it with a whole bunch of fresh lemon wedges. My husband also really enjoys hot sauce. Okay. If you don't have any clam shells, you want to make this into more of a stuffing. You can also make this in a one quart cas uh, casserole. Can't speak today casserole dish and I've got all of the information there. You use the same the same ingredients and all the same stuff, but you put it into a casserole dish and then basically it's like Thanksgiving stuffing but claims casino style. Anyway, I hope you give it a try. It really is good. And you're taking that from somebody who's not like a huge claims casino fan. It, it it's actually really delicious. Okay. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss one of our podcasts talking about interesting things like Clams Casino and Aunt Donna's clam shells in the basement, right? And you'll get all of our newest podcasts, YouTube videos, and recipes. From my kitchen to yours, have a fabulous day.